hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another Ikoria Draft here on the channel. Before I dive in, I do want to remind you that if you enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you'd like to catch me streaming live, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. But let's stop holding the table hostage, shall we? We have opened up a rare. I am not sure how good this rare is, because I have never played it. My initial evaluation was that it is probably solid, but I have very little to judge that on, other than me hoping it is solid. Um, basically, 3 mana for a 4-5 menace is above rate, but it gets worse and worse as the game goes on because giving something death touch isn't the greatest. It's not even like a fun build around rare, so I don't even really want to try it out myself. Someone played it against me and it was okay, but I just gave like a coil bug death touch. Um, but yeah. Hunt a Nightmare, a sweet one. I kind of want to just take this Godzilla Primeval Champion because it can lead to some really sweet, like, reanimator type decks. Um, in the comments section, Farfinder is the best common. I think Hunt a Nightmare and Godzilla are close in terms of picking for me. I'm not a huge fan of the Oddity anymore. It's kind of clunky. Charge of the Forever Beast. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I should try it more. I think we're going to start things off with Godzilla Primeval Champion. I really wanted to get some more experience with this card. I don't think I've really gotten to play it very much. Well, we're at a decision point, my friends. Immediately going into pack two, there's a Proud Will Bonder, which works really well with the Trample-type theme, but there's also a Flourishing Fox, which is a truly deadly card that I have faced. It has dominated me. My opponent has kept one land hands with just Flourishing Fox and got there. And uh, Flourishing Fox has been an all-star. The rare is missing out of this pack, so not a huge signal point. But Flourishing Fox versus Dranith Singer and Fire Prophecy, there's a lot of great cards. Swallow Hole is also fantastic. I think Flourishing Fox is even, like, better. And, like, we can even play it in a white-green cycling deck. I think Will Bonder is a little bit less good, even though it's just a good card on its own. Four mana, four, three. But I really like the Fox, so I think we're going to take that here. Um, I'm not, like gonna force cycling but i just think it's the best pick out of the pack um will bonder would probably be after i would probably go flourishing fox fire prophecy dranith singer swallow hole then will bonder like i think all those cards are just a little bit better than will bonder wow there's another godzilla here but there's also like a swallow hole to go with the flourishing fox i already have a godzilla there's also primal empathy but that would commit me to two colors I think we're just going to take the Swallow Hole. It's cheap. Interaction. Yeah. The Godzilla... The Titanoth Rex, as it were, is a cool card. Um, but I think we're just going to take the Swallow Hole. I think it's just a better card. <laughs> like, in a vacuum. After that, I would probably take Godzilla over, like, a Go for Blood. Because I'm not that committed to playing, like, the cycling stuff. But I think Swallow Hole is just the best card here. And now... What have we here? Mystic Subduel is a pretty good removal spell. I've been pretty happy with it. Um, like, it's been pretty good against me and stuff. Duskfang Mentor is one I've wanted to get more experience with because it has wrecked me from time to time. It works really well with big creatures like the Titanoth Rex. Uh, I think Essence Symbiote is solid. Greater Sandworm is solid. But I think the Duskfang Mentor is the best card in this pack. There's not a one-mana cycler to go with my Flourishing Fox. Um, I think the Mentor is probably the best card here. I don't really want to take the Subduel. I think giving something lifelink can be backbreaking in like certain matchups. Also, black green is a reanimator color, so we'll toe the line, as it were, between whether we want to commit to white or like black green or something like that. Essence Symbiote is a card I don't take as highly anymore because I don't have any like a ton of like mutate right now, but it is just a great card. But yeah, let's take the mentor here over the Mystic Subduel. And I really do like weaponize the monsters as well. This card is fantastic. Um, could move towards a black red attrition deck with weapon eyes. This card is quite nice. I think durable coil bug is probably next out of this pack in terms of good, like, power level, maybe. Lava serpent solid. Sandworm and Fertilit are also nice, but we haven't seen an insane reason to jump into green yet. I mean, we've seen, like, a couple of big stuff. Like, we got to, like, we've seen a third pick Titanoth thing. But really, not a ton of green. But weapon eyes is a pretty nice card, so I think we'll take it. And, uh,. Maybe move towards black red. Again, this pack is just kind of weak. Like, 
I wouldn't really be happy running any of these cards in my deck, so we'll just take the Savai Sabretooth, because you just want to make sure you get enough 2-drops. Or we could take like a Tentative Connection to go with the Weaponize, because if I do end up in a Black-Red Sacrifice deck, I could just really want that. I could see that happening. I kind of haven't found a lane yet, and I don't think Sabretooth is going to be a card I miss, whereas I could really miss a Tentative Connection. I don't love Momentum Rumbler, it's just too clunky. So I think we will take the Tentative Connection here. Wow, late Swallow Hole, late Primal Empathy. This is a weird draft so far. Swallow Hole should not be going around this late. It's just so efficient. Primal Empathy shouldn't be in the pack either, but we're not really seeing a ton of blue signals. Go for Blood's also a fine card because we do have this Fox, but we're just going to take the Swallow Hole. And now I guess we just take a one mana Cycler. Like, we're not going to play Gremlin. We don't really need to prioritize Frenzied Raptor, so we do already have a Flourishing Fox, so I guess we just take the one mana Cycler. Hello, Isaac Newton. Frenzied Raptor. I, th I would take Frostbill Ambush next and then the Frenzied Raptor over a Wilt. I don't think we're playing green at this point. Currently, we are white X because three of our best cards are white, and we can just play some cycling stuff to go with the uh, Flourishing Fox. Coil Bug is a nice pickup potentially if we did want to go that direction. Glimmer Bell is a pretty good card. Maybe we just play like blue white. Um, Lava Serpent's also fine. Yeah, I'm not like you don't need all that much cycling for Flourishing Fox to be good. It's just like a card you can play on turn one that does good stuff. I think the blue might be more. Op eh, we haven't really seen any good blue cards. Let's just take the Coil. Hmm. Let's just take a Coil Bug. I'm not going to miss a six mana five five haste that has cycling too. Whereas if I don't get a Coil Bug for like a deck that wants it, it could be a disaster. Well, we're not playing green, and we're not playing blue, so we're some combination of the Mardu colors at this point. And it's looking like white-black is most likely, but getting another Cycler is good, especially a one-mana Cycler, because Flourishing Fox doesn't need all that many Cyclers to be a good card. Some late green, but not any good green, if that makes sense. The Memory Leak is a pretty good pickup, though, and now a Gopher Blood. So we're getting some late one-mana Cycling to go with this Fox. Even if we don't end up in the right colors. I mean, Forbidden Friendship is also a sweet one with Weaponize the Monsters. So maybe I'd rather prioritize that. But I think we could maybe get some, like, some cycling payoffs. Hmm. Yeah, let's just take the one mana cycler. And a late Essence Symbiote. We'll take it over Hampering Snare just to leave the option open if we open an insane green card. Wow. Really late Glimmer Bell. Also really late Sandworm. So maybe we have segued back into green. Impulse. And, well, heck. Yorion's great as just a card. But I don't think we can move in on just the deck. I think we just take it as a card to play. Like, we'll just play it as a thing that can like flicker our stuff and be a 4 or 5 flyer for 5, maybe. Is that even better than a Blood Curdle? But we're not even sure we're playing that color. I don't think we're playing green at this point. We didn't open a good green card, so we're just not going to be on the green train. We're going to pl probably play... Some white. I mean, we got some decent white late. There's also just, like, some cycling stuff, like a Dranith Stinger. I think we're probably leaning towards, like, Black Red, maybe, even. I think we're going to take the Yorian. It's just a powerful card, but I don't know. Ooh, Lutri's a good one, though. Wow. That's a gift. Um... That probably will make me switch into playing red as a color. So we can play red, white. We would just have to get rid of one swallow hole to companion Lutri. Um, and then we could get Gust of Wind to wheel maybe or Farfinder. But Lutri's just really good. 
All we're giving up is a coil bug and a Duskfang Mentor. Get rid of the tentative connection. So we're playing white red now, but it's not like insane cycling white red. It's like a Lutri spells white red. We have some good spells. Wow, another fox. Maybe we don't even companion Lutri if we have two foxes. Fox is super good. Yeah, I'm just going to take the fox. I think fox is really good. Good enough to maybe even be worth just, like, not companioning Lutri, which is kind of nuts. What do we even take here? Like, Frill Scale Mentor to give our foxes menace? I don't like the Cyclone. This is a weird draft, but we have some good stuff going on. Ooh, that's a fun one. I like Spell Eater Wolverine. I also just like Startling Development as a Cycler to go with my Foxes. Currently we have one, two, three one mana Cyclers. Plus Foxes are one mana Cyclers. So we could take Spell Eater Wolverine. We do already have a decent number of three drops. I'm not going to prioritize the three drops. Yeah, Cyclone, the best Cycling payoff. Let's just take the one mana Cycler over Spell Eater Wolverine. And now Dranith Stinger. One thing I've learned is that when you're playing a cycling deck, Dranith Stinger is like the best card. And that three drops are way less of a priority just because there's so many of them. Because Spell Eater Wolverine and Prickly Marmoset, they're both Prickly Marmoset's better, but they're very fairly interchangeable. Um, your Tapper Guy Snare Titicians are also really good. But Dranith Stingers are like irreplaceable. There's no card in the two drop slot that you'd rather have, pretty much. Except maybe like a Savai Thundermane. But this is looking like a good pack for us. Really like this. Things are looking more and more open for us. And Lutri's going to be a fine main deck card with multiple one mana cyclers, multiple flourishing foxes, multiple swallow holes. And now our reptilian reflection. Our deck is really coming together here. And we have Yorion and stuff for like late game flying and stuff. Hello, Lollipop Gamer. Wow, late Savai Thundermane. I think it's better than the Dranith Stinger, but only barely. Like these is, uh, this is a really late Dranith Stinger. I really wish we could have that one. Wow, really coming together. Another one mana Cycler. Our deck is insane now. This thing has really came together pack two. I think one thing that I've learned maybe about the cycling deck is that um, it's sometimes hard to get into it because people take the stuff for it early. But since everyone does that early, this nobody ends up in the deck. And then later on, it kind of opens up. But now we have Reptilian Reflection, Savai, two Flourishing Foxes. So we have a pretty good version. I'm not sure if Savai Thunderman is even the correct pick over Dranith Stinger. I haven't played with this card yet, so it's hard to say. It seems better in a vacuum, and I've heard a lot of good things. But Dranith Stinger has really impressed me. Especially in multiples. So. We might not even play Yorion. This is pack two. I guess we just take the land now. Or we could take Light of Hope. Doesn't seem like the worst card. I kind of like the... Eh, we have Flourishing Fox and stuff. Let's just take the Light of Hope. We probably can't keep a hand that just plays a tap land. Light of Hope can do some work. It's a two-mana cycle. We might need it. Wow. This is why I don't prioritize the three drops very much, because you can just get some. Like, look, we already have Marmoset, Reflection, we have a Lutri. Huh? <laughs> huh? 
That's amazing. Well, this is on color. We can just play it for five mana. Is it better than a Zenith Flare, though, is the question. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten cyclers. There's also reflection. Then we're going to take the rare. This card is amazing. It also makes it so we don't have to go quite as all in. Like, we're kind of just like, we can just play like a mid-rangey game. We can have a fox. Fox works really well with this card because it'll keep the counters. I think taking a card other than the Snapdax there is probably trolling to some degree. We're not taking Dragon Sprite. We're not blue. We're just going to take another Swallow Hole. Like, we're not committed to like full out everything has to be a Cycler in this deck. We kind of can play like a mid-rangey game. We have some good removal. Wow, there's a good card in our deck. It's a cycler. It works really well with snap decks. How many non-creatures do we have? Light of Hope, we'll probably cut that. Three swallow holes. I mean, Weaponize would be a pretty good removal spell, but I think Splendor Mare is better. It's just a cycler that has a lot of utility. And now... We'll probably just take Regal Leosaur. Um, it's a fine 2-drop. It's a 2-mana two 2-2, two -two essentially. But then Snapdax later on can get another trigger out of it, potentially. So that's really worth it. Or we could just take Star... Eh, let's just take Starling Development. This card might wheel. And now we'll just take another 1-mana Cycler. We're just going to keep taking the 1-mana Cyclers over, like, things like Spell Eater Wolverines. Because we can, again, we don't need to prioritize three drops. Like, look at our three drop slot. Without trying, we have uh, Splendor Mare, Frill Scale, Prickly Marmoset, Lutri, and Reptilian Reflection. That's one of the things I learned that the last time I drafted it is not to prioritize three drops because you just get them and they're all good. Fire Prophecy, really late here. We'll definitely take that over development. I think Blitz is a good card. Um, I like Splendor Mare better just because I think Lifelink can be really key in this format. Fire Prophecy over the Startling Development. A really good card to copy with our Lutri. I don't think we're going to play the Crystal. We can just play a pretty good mid rangey game. We could even play something like One Swamp so that in some situations we could cast these Memory Leaks. Another Dranus Stinger is amazing. Dranus Stinger is like one of the best cards in the archetype. We have gotten a lot of cycling stuff. We don't need the Light of Hope now. We have enough life gain from other things. Um, we probably won't play Weaponize because we aren't really a tokens deck. Though I will admit it's a pretty solid card. It might just be worth it to play it anyway. But we have a lot of cycling stuff. Frill Scale Mentor is a little bit suspect as well. Like I could see cutting that. Especially because we can't mentor onto it. Yeah, time to move back into Titan Othrax Reanimator. <laughs> Triple Swallow Hole. Fire Prophecy. We have good removal. I don't think we play a Swamp just because we do have... Well, that's nice. I think we'll take that over Standard Titan. Again, we don't need to prioritize three drops, and this can be one of the best cards in the deck. How many cycles do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, yeah, this is going to be great. And we wield this one. Unreal. We got Snapdax and Zenith Flare now. And another Cycler, we'll probably not play this. And we'll take a Cycler, I guess. Leosaur came back, that's perfect. I'm actually really gonna happy, happy that we have that. I guess we could take Cat. We're not gonna play it though. Hmm. 
Wow, last pick memory leak. We'll actually play that too. Huh. So, this is our deck right now. We're not playing any islands. We're just going to play straight up white red. I think we're going to play 15 lands because our curve is low. We can maybe even get away with 14 because we do have so many one mana cycles. We have 1, 2, 5, 8, 10, 13. We're going to cut Frill Skill Mentor for sure. What do we copy with our loot tree here? We can copy Swallow Hole, which is really good. It's like a cheap combo. Do we want Raking Claws? I mean, we do have so much. Oh, we can also copy Zenith Flare, duh. Currently we're running 14 lands because we're just going to be cycling like every memory looks like. Well, look at our curve in terms of where the cyclers are. Like we can cycle Drana Stinger in a pinch. We have all these things to do on turn one. Yorion isn't the greatest in our deck. We probably should just cut Yorion. Honestly, what are we flickering with Yorion? Like in our deck, it's just going to be a 5 mana 4 or 5 flyer that flickers things to like get them out from pacifisms, which is a great card, don't get me wrong. And give pseudo vigilance. So I kind of still want to run it. I'm going to get the real artwork. Snapdax is obviously amazing. Um, Raking Claws, probably not coming in. With double Zenith Flare, maybe I just cut the Yorian. I would like, am supposed to cut the Yorian and just play more Cyclers. Hmm. I like Leosaur because of the Snapdax, because if I have Snapdax in play, I can get another Mutate Trigger. Swallow Hole is pretty good. Ugh. This is tricky. Finding some last cuts here. I think 14 lands is about right. How many cycles do we have? We have 3, 5, 8, 10, 13. 13 cyclers. And we have great removal. I think we could cut a swallow hole. That could make sense. Cut Yorion. Yeah, Yorion could be the cut for sure. The thing with Yorion is it's just a really good card, and you can still just play really good cards. Especially if your opponent's relying on like pacifisms and stuff to shut down your foxes and things. Though I guess flickering fox is kind of not great. So let's cut a Yorion and cut one Swallow Hole for... Nah, let's just keep the Swallow Holes. So we have 14 lands. Our curve is very low. I guess we're kind of more aggressive than Swallow Hole, so I would rather play Yorion. The Leosaur is mostly as just a 2-drop that in the late game can give us another Snapdax trigger. Maybe we would only want... I think two swallow holes are nice because if we're on the, we're probably going to be beating down a lot, so they won't have un, they won't have tapped creatures. So maybe we only want one of these, and then we add in raking claws as another cycler. Most of our cyclers are pretty good, though. That seems good to me. Play a swamp. I'm not going to play a swamp when I have pretty difficult color requirements. Double red. I'm just going to be cycling these things. Hard casting snappy is not part of the plan. I think I like this build. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty effective. 14 lands is probably as low as I'd want to go. Because we do have some good expensive stuff and we don't want to have to mulligan more than we have to. Uh, one swallow hole is probably enough, though I kind of am very tempted to play the second one. Over what, though? Classic concern over what? Raking Claws is definitely the most sketchy card in our deck. I 
That's definitely a tough one. But we have a lot of payoffs for cycling, so let's just try it like this to start with, and I'll see you folks in the matches. Before I get to the matches, I want to take a brief moment to shout out all of my patrons, especially those who support at the credits level. Your support helps me continue producing high-quality content on a consistent basis, and if you would like to join the Patreon community and unlock some pretty cool rewards in the process, be sure to check it out at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Even a dollar a month goes a long way. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, and without further ado, let's get to the matches. Keep this hand. This is amazing. And on the play. I think we'll cycle this turn one startling development to maximize our odds of hitting a practically marmoset on turn three. So we can really start going to town. Even though it means one less damage from the Dranus Stinger. I do have flying. I have a um, Yorion in my deck. Perfect. Now I can curve out. And another cycler also means that I can like get to the late game and have Zenith Flare copied with Lutri and stuff. Wheeling Zenith Flare is great. Yeah, just a Cycler is amazing. Also giving like Double Strike to one of my Marmosets is something I could do in a pinch. I should have played the land first. Two lands I didn't really want to see, but you know, what can you do? I got two Zenith Flares in pack three, Behemoth. I will take one for the team, as they say. Maybe I don't want any swallow holes. Is my deck like good enough that I can get away with none? Also, flooding kind of sucks, but that's the nature of the game sometimes. Like, we do only have 14 lands, and I guess we've drawn seven of them in the first 14 cards, so that's not like that unreasonable. I think we're still in good shape here. This thing's the really annoying one. Pretty 
two, five, eight, ten. They blocked? Are you kidding me? Totally wrecked, I guess. Jesus. Wow. That didn't work out. This is horrible. <sighs> we can beat anything but a vigilance creature, clearly. And they had that gutsy block. Probably because they had the Willy All Hunter. I'm just so dead. Yeah. I'm actually shocked that they... Yeah. Oh well. Round two. We will keep this hand. It's not the greatest, but it's something. It's got some spells to cycle, at least. Booyah! Nice draw. Yes! That was a heck of a draw! I'm thinking Swallow Hole might not be the right fit for this deck. 
just because I kind of want to be proactive the entire game, and as soon as I fall behind, I kind of die. So I think I'll just cut it for a raking clause. Just to make my Zenith Flares better. Sure. Let's see what we draw here. Oh, no, they're not quite dead. Whoops. I did the math wrong on that. I'll pay two against the odds of me drawing a land. Boom. Got the win. See you folks in the next round. Welcome to round three. We have made some changes. We cut the Yorion and the Swallow Hole for just more cyclers. I think Brokos is very good. Um, I haven't played with the Jeskai one. Lutri, okay. University Challenge. I haven't watched that one. Glimmera Bell. Okay. They called my bluff there. Yeah, it was pretty wild. We moved into the deck because it seemed open. We're going to play the Fox. It's early enough game that it'll still be great. If they have ram through, it's kind of irritating, but they could ram through this thing anyway, so. We'll just get in some damage. And this isn't a fearful stream. Yeah, we have a lot of one mana cyclers, it's gonna be great. Okay. That's a little irritating. But not the end of the world by any means. Looks like they may might be missing land drops. Ooh, I'll make one. I'll go get to the store and get some ingredients for yeah, yeah, I'll get one. I'll make one for later. Yeah, I'll go get ingredients later today. Okay, cool, good idea. Okay, they're attackers. Just talking with my dad. He's a cool dad guy. Okay. See, we did just add this crystal as a new cycler. Just because we need more cycling stuff. Every piece of cycling matters. Grow the fox in combat. Lutri's honestly not the greatest in our deck. Okay. Now we'll cycle this, just because it turns on our reflection and stuff. Flourishing Fox is a house.
They could have capture sphere, they could have ram throughs. Shore shark, okay. They bounce the fox, okay. If they block this, then we can put them to one, five, seven, eight, nine. And if we draw one more cycler, we just win. Booyah. Adding the more more cyclers was a definitely the correct play. We might even cut this loot. If we had another cycler, we might even consider cutting loot tree. We'll just... Yeah. Boom. Got the win. We figured out the deck a little bit more, and uh, I'm really feeling confident. I'll see you folks in the next round. We're rocking and rolling with cycling. This is a pretty good hand. We'll cycle one of the cards um, to try and hit a land. If we draw a land on the first turn, we won't. Hopefully, we draw a fox. Okay, perfect. So we'll cycle this development. Because we can't cast that if we wanted to. Okay, there's Lutri. We'll get our Stinger into play. Ooh, nice. They have the Squirrel Land. Sure thing. Beautiful. Play the Marmoset. It's early on in the game. We play the Marmoset over the Reflection because if we draw another land, we can play Reflection into the Cycler. Okay, they're doing some big things. If we draw a land, we have a really good turn here. Even without a land, it's a pretty good turn. We'll play this. Okey-doke. Double Dranith Stinger in play is really good. Yep, we don't care. Lifelink stuff could be scary. Boneyard Lurker, not scary at all. I think we'll take action. They could have some sort of combat trick, but we're fine. We have Zenith Flare in our deck somewhere. We already have three cyclers in the graveyard. Four, five. That does four more damage. Six, seven if they die. I could have like waited, but I don't think waiting is what I want to do. I just want to keep their board small. Okay. I still trample over for one. And now I just need a couple more cyclers and the game's over. They don't have any permanents to get back. Now they do. Lutri's honestly one of my worst cards. It might just be better as a cycler. Like an off color greater sandworm cycler. Now 
They have to chomp here. Should I draw a one mana cycler here? Yeah. Do they have another unlikely aid? Ram through. Yeah, not the greatest. We can play Fire Prophecy, copy with Loot Tree, dig two more cards. The thing is, is the ram through was still just a one for one. The Zenith Flare. Now we just have to survive. This deck is really good. For sure. We'll jump with our loot tree. Even if they gain four, they're still dead. I'm thinking about Honey Mammoth when I say gain four. Nice. Zap. Okay, I figured it out. All those cyclers really did make my deck a lot better, and I'll see you folks in the next round. Welcome to another round. We're going to keep this hand. I've been thinking about cutting a land. I think it might be correct. We can't cast the... We can't cycle the Rex because it requires green. That was a really good draw. Oh my gosh. No, it, it, it costs one and a green to cycle, which is just unusable. Ah, they have Boros Sleeves, but they're playing blue. Crafty. They could have Essence Scatter, but if they don't have Essence Scatter, this is going to work out really well for us. But I'm not worried. Essence Scatter, sure. Oh, they don't have it. Nice. That worked out. That's fine with me. Yeah, I think I can cut a land. It'll just make my deck slightly better, I think. I'm looking for some more good cards. There we go. I'm fine with them trading because I don't have a cycler. They don't know I don't have a cycler, but I don't. <laughs> oh, and their mana screwed. Oh, that would be wonderful.
Okay, there's a marmoset. Oh no, they're just dead. Oh, they still didn't hit a land. That sucks. Oh yeah, Strawberry Shake's gonna be great. Asteroid down. It's gonna be great. We're gonna cut a land for a sandworm, and then we'll be back in the next round. Welcome to another round. I did decide against cutting the land because of hands like this, where you want to be able to hit your two drops on turn two. And you don't want to have to cycle your Drannus Stingers, etc. I'm going to start with the Sun Thunder main. Reptilian Reflection hits the hardest here. We're going to cycle the Dana Singer to kill the Brushwag, probably. Or they'll just attack us. Works for me. I guess we'll kill this. Nice, we hit another land. Now we can do that with our raking claws. Sure. Fine by me. We're gonna wait because we can cycle the um, Dranith Stinger. And then use double strike on a reflection. And I will pay two. So if they do go for a double block on this, we win. Got another win. Hard work to move back and forth between all the good streams. I'm so glad you're enjoying the stream, Maze of Death. Yeah, playing in paper is really fun. Ooh, another win. See you folks in the next round. Welcome. We finally have the turn one Flourishing Fox. One of the most hellish things to face in the format. We'll keep this, even though we are on the draw, so that is definitely a worse. But yeah, getting past payoffs like the Fox, medium, middle level stranded stingers in the pack. Uh, obviously, the flare is amazing. Nice. If we draw a mountain, we'll probably just play. Eh. It's close on whether we'll play it. Anything. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, from Lisa. I'll go say thank you. Okay. They decided not to block, eh? We have got a milkshake, folks. Cycle our Drannith Stingers last, because we'd most likely have those, I think. Booyah. Hopefully they don't have Fire Prophecy. If they do, it's a little bit of a bummer. I can't imagine they do, though. Flame Spell. Yeah.
with a couple Zenith Flares in the deck and them not putting any pressure on us, I'm liking our odds. Not cool, man. Well, I guess we can kill that when we find our mountain. Booyah. And the next time we can go. Survive Thunder Main Cycle Dranith to kill this. Ah, oh, man. I guess we shouldn't have got rid of that land if that was our plan. Great milkshake right now. Really loving this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to block this? So, I cycle, this, that makes this 12 damage, hit them for 3, they go to 14. Uh. That's fair. We'll jump this thing. Can't beat everything, but now that we have Lutri to copy our Zenith Flare, we're fine.
Draft is amazing, Val Admire. Damn, I really sucked that down. You can put milk in a smoothie. Milkshakes generally don't have fruit as much. Hmm. Another win for the good guys. We finally pulled that off. Felt good. See you folks in the next round. Info, I love gluten. Little do you know that I love milkshakes. Ugh, I'm freaking out on sugar, folks. This is definitely a keeper, though. We have cards. Oh, please, no. Please don't say I'm crackling. Please, that's horrible. That's a really bad sign. Oh, no. Because I've had audio issues in the past that ruin drafts. And then I just can't post them to my channel. And I really want to be able to post this one. So if people in chat are hearing crackling, <sighs> that would be horrible. Give me a mountain. I'm definitely going to do another draft of this one. The picture is a bit too loud. Like the background audio? I have it at the normal level that I have it at. I think I'm going to cycle Raking Claws here. I'll cycle another Raking Claws. They don't have a ton of pressure right now. I'm going to be fine with my Fire Prophecy eventually killing this Brushwag. That's a good sign. Please pump. Snapdax, no! Oh, there we go. There's my boy. We're just going to hit him. Wow, Go for Blood actually a fine card to kill this Brushwag. If they pump again, I think I just win. Okay, they don't. Okay. What do you got? We'll take action. play Marmoset, because it works so well with Snapdax. What do they have? What flash creatures are there? Okay, that's okay. We can actually cycle, and then if we draw a land, we can mutate this on. for five mana. 
I can. It's going to be awesome when we do it. Well, that makes things less interesting. Because now there's just no reason to take the risk, because they could just have ram through, they mutate this and then ram through. They're tapped out, so we can just kill this and put them to five. We're going to do it in style, folks. I have to. Yeah, we got our snapdax. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That felt good. In retrospect, I think Zenith Flare with a mistake um, as a card to make. It's probably slightly too good. It's a sweet one, though. Like, if it costs six mana, it would be a bunch more reasonable. Whew. Had to get that Snapdax down eventually, folks. I mean, we did draft it, after all. That is going to do it for this draft video. If you did make it all the way till the end, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag learning cycling, because we learned a lot during this draft video. I know I certainly did. Or hashtag Snapdax dinosaur. Uh, or hashtag copied flare, because those were all some of the sweet things that we did during this draft. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And with your questions and feedback, be sure to check out the Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. The Discord server is free and welcoming for everybody. There will be links to that in the description and pinned comment down below. Um, you can support the channel directly via the Patreon, patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. I really enjoyed playing this draft. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned as much as I did. That is going to do it for this one, though. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.